So we're starting a new 12 week hustle cycle. What I'm looking forward to in the next 12 weeks are the new team members getting a bite of this apple, right? And I, I'm, it's like contagious, right? So these 12 weeks, I feel like a lot of people say they do everything in 12 weeks now. It's like their lifestyle. It's not what they do, it's who they are. And so I'm excited for the new team members, which we have over 35 of them that, are, that haven't really participated in it or understand it that well. So I'm excited for that. One thing I'm looking forward to is not another hula dance. That's number one. <laughs> So uh, that's number one, and I set you up for that, and you know I did. I'm excited for the folks who participated last time to get another at-bat to conquer a very, very large goal, which um, we're all setting hard goals. So thinking about the 12-week hustle, these goals are meant to be stretched. Um, and we color coordinated them, not intentionally, but I kind of like it because it gives context to, I want to get that to green. It's like chipping away, chipping away, chipping away hardcore. It, so. Every day, this is what I do to myself, I challenge everyone to do it then. I go home and I get home and I chill and I'm just like, okay, what was my effort today? Could I have done more? Could I have done less? Would I call this a winning day for me, for Tyler, right? And guys, there's not, I don't win every day. My goal is to win more days than I lose, right? And so if I can win three out of the five days, I'm happy with that. I, I always try to tell team members, don't let the red deceive you, although it, it, it does, don't let them deceive you because these are stretch goals. If they were all green, they weren't stretched, they weren't big enough. Everyone who hits every single one of their goals, they didn't set high enough goals, right? Now, we don't wanna be in all red because that means we just, we didn't properly plan. Um, and so I think there's a happy balance. If we're 70-ish percent of the way there, I'd call that success. Learn from those findings, whether it be a success or a failure, and then move on to the next goal, knowing what you know moving forward. And so, um, um, and so that's what I want to do is I want to win three out of the five days minimum because that means I'm winning more days than I'm losing, right? I win enough days, you win enough weeks, you win enough weeks, you win enough months, then as you guys know, you win enough months, you win the year. Um, and so that's what I do. And it's a good little checks and balances because what happens is you go and you go and you go and you never pop your head up and think, am I doing well or am I not? And you're looking at the finish line, right? When you need to be looking at a day-to-day -day balance, right? Did I win today or not? You know, what does a winning day look like? I can only measure the tactics and the hustle for that day. I can't, and the effort I put forth in that should get me to green or should allow me to accomplish that goal. And so that's something I do it myself. And there's days where I'm like, what the heck? You know, I got people calling, I got fires out of, it's like all this stuff happened. Like the things that matter the most I didn't get done today, Let's push it under the table. What's tomorrow? Let's crush tomorrow. And so that's how you have to look at the 12 week year. It's an every day chipping away. Cause you don't have 12 months, you have 12 weeks. So every day matters. 12 weeks, the days are long, the years are short. They go by quick and you know it. And so um, I encourage everyone to think about that. Try to challenge yourself to do it. I have a little note on the back of my door. When you leave, if you leave my house, it says, how was your day yesterday? And I, it's just a reminder. And I, I now just do it, but I still have it on the back of my door as I leave just to go, did I win yesterday, didn't, didn't. So that way when I go out to the office that day, if I lost, I know I've got to grind, right? If you do it the night before, you forget about it. As I leave, I go, I got to grind. And even if I still am winning three days and it's Wednesday and I go to Thursday, I still want to grind. It's just a reminder for myself. And so um, that's a little a little hack, right? What we call that? Is that the cool people you hipsters call hack right there? It's a little life hack right there. And I'm, I'm excited for another celebration. I think the celebrations are great. It lets everyone just kind of let loose, relax, uh, you know, party for what they just went through, 12 weeks of work, hustle. Um, and so I'm excited for those. It's something fun to look forward to. I had a great time. I think the team did an excellent job decorating. I think it was the biggest 12 week celebration we've had. But I will say on that factor, I did not want a hula dance and I did it for the team. I want all of you slopers to know I did it for you guys. And you know what? A lot of people said that was great. It was great to see you, not as the CEO. I'm like, first off, I still am the CEO. Let's get that right. Number two, just because I'm wearing a hula skirt doesn't mean I'm not the CEO. But it was great to uh, it was great to do that. I'm glad everyone found enjoyment. I see there's already memes and things in Slack, and there's nothing I can do. H1P, what's that? H1P. The one is the I, I, don't, I don't know. I had hold on. <laughs> Guys, it's all about the H1P. Hold on. Don't, cut out where I didn't know no, where I was talking about, okay. just so yeah. that the hipsters out there know yeah. what's up.